Welcome to Spice and Pens. Subscribe to our channel for our recipes weekly. Hi, today we are cooking Bai Cai Shi Zi Tou or Meatballs with Cabbage Soup. Inside this clay pot, I have 1.5 liter of chicken stock. I'm adding in half a Tianjin Da Pai Cai or cabbage, Tianjin cabbage. Just put them in. Because cabbage will be nice if it's soft, so I will boil this first. Cover it back up and let it boil. I have with me over here 700 grams of Wuhua Rou or Stricky Pork. As you can see, there are some fats attached to, to the meat. This is very good, especially when making meatballs, because then it will be juicier. I shall put all this inside the magic mix. Now we shall mince this. Now normally I like to mince my own meat. Why? Because then I know what cuts I'm having and I can clean it cleaner than the butcher. But of course you can get minced meat from the butcher or you can choose the cuts that you want and ask the butcher to actually mince it for you. Okay, this is the texture I want. Let's have a look. Look at how finely chopped it is. I'm going to change the attachment now to the dough maker. I've changed the attachment to the dough maker because I want to mix in the aromatics, the ingredients, the soy sauce, and so on and so forth. So in go the mincemeat again. I'm just going to put some white pepper, one teaspoon of salt, one teaspoon of sugar, one tablespoon of ginger juice, one tablespoon of Hua Tiao Ji or Chinese cooking wine, one tablespoon of light soy sauce, half a tablespoon of sesame seed oil, the egg white of one egg, eight pieces of dried mushroom hydrated and cut into cube like this, one whole stock of spring onion, cover it back up and mix well. Well, of course you can mix this by hand, but with the magic mix it makes things so much easier. And you don't really have to slam them too much or so because this will actually make the protein come out of the meat and they will stick together easier. This should be good enough already. Let's stop this and let's have a look. Yes. As you can see, it's like very sticky and all sticks together. This is the texture that we want. And now we will make them into meatballs. I'm just going to slam this a few times just to make sure that there's no air inside here so that the meatballs will be bouncy. I slam them down half of this. Just a few times to do because the Imagine Mix is actually doing a lot of that for me already. Okay, so that will more or less do it. I'll just divide this into six portion. Try to make them as equal as possible. Same with the other part. And we are just going to shape them into balls. Just let me a few times on your hand, like this. When they're shaped like this, it's done. Just put them aside and continue with the rest. I prepared some cornstarch solution. I'm just going to drip this over the meatball. Why am I doing this? Because I want the meatball not to fall apart when I fry them and to have a little light crispy and brown outside look. So I'm just going to drip some of this over here like this. Okay, and I'm off to fry them. In a pan, heat up oil and put the meatball in. Lightly. Put the fire setting to medium or medium low. You don't want to try it way too much. Just want to brown it and just let it sit together. Now I'm going to fry a few minutes on each side to make sure that it's brown. But it smells really really good right now. I'm just going to come over and look at how beautiful the color is. Now, some of you might have some question on how many times can you reuse the oil. For me, normally I use it like 
three times maximum but all depends on what kind of oil you are using and what are you frying before the, you want to get rid of the seafood smell from the oil what I normally do is I will actually add in a piece of ginger after I finish frying everything just to get rid of the fishy smell look at how beautiful those meatballs are now some of you might ask why can't I throw the meatball straight away into the soup there's two reasoning that why I'm doing this one is I like to have the beautiful brown color on the meatballs it looks much better more appetizing second is if you boil it inside the soup after you fry it won't break up so easily now that it has brown on all sides I'm going to remove this from this pan and transfer them to the clay pot I'm just going to add this into this soup here put it in slowly because the soup is hot and boiling now after we put all this in we're going to put this in the soup put the lid back on and let it cook for approximately 20 minutes look at how beautiful it is okay 20 minutes it will be the soup has been boiling for 20 minutes already let's have a look beautiful let's just give it a taste so make sure it's savory enough for, for me, for my family. Wow, really good. Fantastic. Alright, time to serve this, but I would like to add some pepper in first. Okay. Beautiful. Let's serve this. Ladies and gentlemen, this is how we cook our Bai Chai Si Zi Tou or meatballs with cabbage soup. I hope you like our video. Do click like on our video and do subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching.